Hi, this is Greg at Best Trace Trailer. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around the Shore Track Steel Deck Car Trailer. I'm showing you today a 7x20, 10,000 pound. They also make this in a 7,000 pound and an 18 foot as well. And we do carry all the sizes and models in stock. I'm going to take you out front. First of all, we show this trailer with an optional 7K setback jack. This is something we do quite common on our 10,000 pound gross. 2 and 5 16 inch ball coupler. One nice feature we like, short trap caps the end of the tongue so you don't get any acid rain or salt in the tube. All sealed harness, rubber grommeted uh, wiring in the frame. They do a 5 inch tube tongue and a 5 inch tube main frame. You'll find industry standard, a lot of times you use channel. Short track goes to tube on this particular model as tube doesn't flex quite as much as channel. That's important because the steel won't give quite as much strength as the wood. And you'll find Short Track makes a few provisions to give extra strength to this particular trailer being a steel deck. So one thing I would say on their trailer, they've designed this as a steel deck trailer, not as a wood deck car trailer with steel on the floor as you often see on steel deck trailers. A couple of features they do a little bit different on the steel decks, you get a nice fabricated bulkhead up front, gives you a good look, aerodynamic, sporty style. D-rings are standard, they're also a place where you're going to want them up front. Same thing in the back corners. Then for additional tie downs, you've got stake pockets and rub rails, also standard all the way around this trailer. The 5 inch tube tongue is a full wrap tongue, wraps the whole way back to your spring hangers. They do a fender gusset front and back, and the front one has a, a slot in it. And that's nice because the removable fender, which is standard on this driver's side, tucks down in the front so you only got one wing nut at the back that you need to worry about to fasten that fender on. So again the gussets uh, are standard. Also they've gone to a tread plate fender which matches the tread plate floor of the trailer. Kind of a sharp look. It's also a teardrop fender, a little bit stronger than your traditional smooth fenders that are uh, straight. Radial tire standard, easy lube hubs as well. Another detail that we appreciate about Shore Tracks Steel Deck Car Trailer, they do a full seam perimeter weld also across the trailer. There's no stitch welding on this trailer that's going to deteriorate and pop over time. You also notice a four foot dovetail standard instead of a two foot dove. Gives you a nice low load angle for loading almost any car. Another thing that my shins appreciate is the way they do their uh, rear lights. You'll notice the stop turn tails tucked into the back corner, the marker lights on the outside. There is no shin buster back here to bust your ankles and shins on. D rings are on the back corner where you want them for loading the car. You'll notice they do a finger jointed ramp. So the ramp's got finger joints on, it tucks into that back. Punch plate ramp gives you excellent traction going up. You also notice it's a nice knife edge ramp, tapers down to about three quarters of an inch height. On the 10K ramp, they not only do the form steel, but there's also angle in the corners, which would allow you to load something heavier than, a, you know, than an average size car. You can even get into a light piece of equipment. Okay, so this being a 20 footer, it's gonna be 16 foot of flat, four foot of dovetail. The approximate load angle on this trailer per short track is gonna be about nine to 10 degrees. Should be able to accommodate most cars. On a 10K trailer, they frame it a little different in a 7K. On a 10K trailer, it's going to be 2x3 box tube, 16 inch on center, versus 7K is going to be 2x2, also 16 inch on center. I bring this up because the floor cross members and floor supports on this trailer are sturdier than most. Most are going to be an angle iron or at most a channel. This box tube gives you the maximum surface area and gives you maximum strength per pound. Spare tire mount is standard on the passenger side. A spare is not standard, but we do keep those in stock should you need one. The trailer's powder coated, and not only is it powder coated, but Short Track actually builds this particular model trailer with their dump trailers. That's important because they've got their best paint technology in their dump plant. So this is actually manufactured at their most recent plant. It's only about a year or so old. So the powder coat and more importantly the powder coat prep on this trailer is the best of the uh, of the facilities 
So again, this is a 20 foot 10K short track steel deck. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, give us a ring at 717-220-4220. Or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.